doing? Pretty good. How you doing today, Miss Yeah, Gideon? I'm glad you came to see me. I'm glad to be here today. <clears throat> um, I just, you know, been wanting to talk to you. I know you've been busy and I've been busy. And, you know, it's a lot of stuff going on in the office. And I just wanted to talk to you about, you know, a couple of things. But, but first, how have you been? You know, you one of the senior senior maids here at um, Child and Adolescent. So how have things been for you? Everything's been going pretty good. You know, my five years of being here, the reason why I kind of stood with the company is just because of like what we believe in and how we carry our facility here. Um, but overall, I love, you know, I love my job. I wouldn't take it for granted. I wouldn't want to do nothing else. Good, good. So it's like what? Probably like three or four C um, senior CMAs here um, at Nova Child Adolescent. And I see that you guys have really stuck with each other and mm -hmm. really showed the um the new CMAs and you know the ones that have not been here that long um a real example of what to do here and how to do it and what um being a CMA is all about and that's really good I just want to let you know we appreciate you thank you so much Mr. you're Gates. welcome and I just want to talk to you you know because I have we haven't really had time to talk it's been a long time we had time to talk yes. we talk you know here and there around yeah you know so, um, I just want to let you know that um, we really, really appreciate you. We have things coming up as far as CMA week and um, that you, well, you know, we do that every year, but yes, ma we really just want to let you know we appreciate you. I just, this is nice seeing you work because I remember when you first started and you have really prospered in this position. Thank you so much. <laughs> you have, you have really prospered in this position. So. I just want to let you know that um, that's really it's really good where you where you have become and all that. I really appreciate it, Mr. Gates. All right. Um, so I brought you in here today. Do you know why you're here today? No, ma'am. I don't know. Um, but I mean, <clears throat> I feel like I have been doing my job lately, so I wouldn't understand why I'm in the office. Okay. Well, you, of course you haven't been doing your job, but um, you've been doing it very well. But you know, first starting out with this position, it's just things that we were set on doing and. We did it, you know, really good. And as far as you being a senior, um, seeing one of the senior CMAs, is, I just want to make sure you're continuing to do what you know just started off doing. You're not slacking or anything like that. You know, we already have you here on a um, a plan, um, a discipline plan. You know, from years. You know, since you've been here, you've been here quite a long time. So we have you on like a plan mm -hmm. over the years and um, lately. Over the last two months, I see that um, your work has been going down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't say down. I would say uh, it has decreased a little bit. Um, okay. And the reason I say that is because uh, we have got we got a phone call from a, a parent. Mm -hmm. And she did uh, bring her child in to get a flu shot mm -hmm. maybe like two weeks ago. And she recently called um, like a couple of days ago, I'm thinking. And she asked this, um, she left me a mission on my voicemail, so I called her back. And when I called her back, she did state that she didn't know that a um, particular um, substance was in the flu shot that her child got. Mm -hmm. And um, what I asked her was, um, did she receive a vaccine um, information sheet yes, for the flu shot? And um, she did state that she did not receive that vaccine um, information sheet. Gotcha. When you know that here... And it should be any other facility that we, we do supposed to get the VIS sheets um, with every vaccine or, or shot that we that a child receives. So when I looked up to see who um, gave the vaccine to her child, and um, it came out to be you, mm -hmm. Sierra Hall. So uh, I just call you in here today to see um, the reason you know that you may have probably forgot to give it the vaccine sheet or what what had that been because I haven't been up on uh, if you have been doing you know giving sheets out for the vaccines or you know prior to them receiving them mm -hmm. because when you first started you've been you know you've been everything was perfect mm -hmm. so have you been slacking on that or uh, well honestly Miss Geese um, <laughs> the reason why that particular customer didn't receive a vaccine paperwork is because she said that her child gets one every year so she knows fully what contains in the shot so that's the only reason why i didn't give her the sheet because she was so adamant about knowing what the shot contained of so okay. you know typically i do hand out my sheets because i know how important it is here at the office to give each client because i don't want to be responsible for somebody possibly dying because they got a shot that they was allergic to so my job here Mr. Geese, is to ensure that each patient does get a vaccine shot paperwork right so she didn't receive one because she ensured me that she gets her child gets one every year okay 
Well, that's um, that's understandable. I, I thought maybe you probably had forgot. You know, because sometimes um, things do move pretty fast around here. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you can't forget. And if you, you know, do forget, you will know, to put it on like the um, after visit summary as mm-hmm. far as putting the whole uh, vaccine information sheet on the after visit summary for them have. You probably don't give it to them right then, or you do put it, you know, put it on there for them to read later on. Um, but what I wanted to say was, um, it's it's okay if they get the vaccine every year or whatever. But even if you, even if they do get the, even if the child do get the vaccine every year, still, mm-hmm. no what's policy to give them um, a sheet containing um, what's in the vaccine that they're getting. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter if they get it every year, or it doesn't matter if. Um, they say that, oh, it's okay, we don't need it. Just make sure you let them know that, oh, it's no one policy for me to give you this sheet for you to know what's going on with the vaccine, what may have changed, or things like that. Gotcha. Um, and I understand that you said she she normally gets it, the child normally gets it every year, but this is it's really important for um, you to just hand the sheet to them. Um, I'm pretty sure you give them their uh, shot record along with the um, shot, right? Yes, ma'am. Right, so when you hand them that shot record, just hand them the vaccine sheet, and just let them know this is all the information you need as far as uh, what comes with this shot that your child's gonna give. Let them know this an updated copy of the um, shot, their shot record, and that um, <clears throat> this is information about the vaccine that they're receiving as well. So everything is pretty, you know, okay with your your work. Is is everyone's work is always good. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we we do fall short a little bit but we we, are, we have each other to pick each other you know back up yeah um like i said you is on like um a plan with us as far as going down in your rear what, what can we do to help with that situation is anything we can do or is it just um, a couple of time thing you just well truthfully miss geese i think honestly um you know that was my mistake on not giving her that paperwork which you know it won't happen again um, I will do better because I do need to do better because I have been here long enough to know our policies and our guidelines. So um, basically, I don't think, um, I mean, I think I just need to get myself together as far as how I do my job duties and, you know, just continue to do them how I did them when I first started the job. Right, okay. And, you know, just continue to keep that example laid out for the new CMAs here at um, No Button Child and Adolescent. Um, it's good to really have you around, and I don't want to see you, you know, going anywhere because you were one of the very first CMAs that was here with with us, and we, we enjoy it every year with you. I enjoy you guys, too. Um, well, if anything you need to talk to me about or the other supervisors or team or whoever, just just come in off and knock on our door, send us an email, having a meeting with me, and just know this is nothing um, to be worried about. Um if it continues, then maybe that's another conversation we have to have. But everything is fine for right now. You just go back to work and continue being the best um, senior CMA you could be. And uh, like I said, if any, you need anything, just um, give us a holler. And we'll just we'll go from there, okay? Okay. All right. Well, All you right. have a nice day. You too.